School's out for summer, but there's no stopping for science. We are here inside the think tank at the Imagination Station with the chief scientist, Carl Nelson. A couple of guys in a microwave, you know we're going to do some fine cuisine yeah, here. absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, the question is, why do microwaves, and nearly every microwave you run across, has this stuff inside? Yeah. Like that turning platter. It always ends up like that, too. Yeah, yeah. Just, it, well, all I, over I the place. took all the parts out of oh, there. But yeah. um, the question is, that we're going to figure out, is why does that have to be in there? Okay. okay. And so a couple things. One, your microwave oven works by sending microwaves back and forth inside this metal box. Okay? You can even find out the frequency of that uh, microwave radiation. If you look on the back, 2.45 gigahertz. Okay, <laughs> so that's that's the wavelength. You just reminded me of Doc from Back to the Future. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little bit different, but so what's cool about that is those waves bounce back and forth. And the reason the turntable is in there is because well, here let me show you on this string. I've got a little vibrating uh, speaker over here, and it sets up a wave that goes down the string and bounces back. When those waves meet, in some places they combine. And that would be a hot spot inside a microwave. Other places, they cancel each other out. That would be a cold spot. Oh, wow. OK, this is one wavelength. And that's why your food rotates. So it moves through those nodes. I thought we'd use a highly scientific piece of equipment called the chocolate bar. Oh, I like that one. Or we could use a tray of butter. The butter's a little bit messier. And then we'll go with the chocolate. Um, we put this whole tray of chocolate in. We've removed the turntable, OK? Just going to slide that right inside there, <laughs> close it. and. Hit it for like, I don't know, let me clear this. Hit it for like a minute. Every microwave is a little bit different. Yeah. You're going to have to experiment. Between 20 to 40 seconds might be a good time period. And you know, in case you didn't know, the way the microwaves work is you send a wave like that in through the microwave. You've got water molecules in your food. They try to ride the wave, but they can't quite <laughs> catch up to it. And so they rub against each other, and it's that vibration that uh, causes the water molecules to heat up your food. Okay. Um, Common misperception that it's actually a it's resonant frequency. It's necessary not. that they can't ride the wave. Correct. Yes. How about that? And that also allows. Let's check on this. Not quite there on that. But we're going to okay. keep cooking here while we're we tell you about the Imagination Station. You can come on down here on Saturday, bring a kid who lives in Lucas County, and with a paid adult admission, a kid can get in free. And the hours are right there on your screen. One Discovery Way downtown. Let's open up that microwave and see how our Ooh. chocolate's cooking. Oh, oh, a little soft in mm. the center. It's a little soft. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is cool. Take this out. Oh, wow. Check this out. We've got, Tony, help me out. Yeah. Find the spots here. So we've got a spot right there. Uh -huh. We've got a spot right there. We've got what looks like this two spots here. This is not a spot, here. but you can spot, see spot, these. Spot, spot, OK, perfect. Now, the new thing you can do, besides <laughs> eating the chocolate, <laughs> is you can measure between the hot spots, OK? So if I measure between these, I get about 2.8, oh, I want it in metric. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> it's about 7.1 uh, centimeters. That actually corresponds, if you do the math, you can calculate the speed of light, because the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. Remember the 2.45 gigahertz? No way. Times the 7.1. Check out our website. I'll work out all the stuff for you there. Really? But you can actually calculate the speed of light by melting chocolate or butter or chocolate chips or cheese on bread or cream cheese on bread, or whatever you want to do, anything there that you melts, go. you can locate where those hot spots are. And every microwave is going to be a little bit different. OK. Well, make sure you have adult supervision. And make sure you calculate the speed of light using chocolate or whatever Absolutely. you want. <laughs> Thanks very much, Carl. And that's how you imagine it. Mm.